y'all welcome back to my channel i'm mika d davis and if you're new here welcome beautiful and if you've been down hey babe so today i'm super excited y'all because i love me some wine so today i'm gonna do a review on some fairly fairly cheap cheap wines and then i'm also gonna introduce a um really expensive wine and I'm also going to introduce uh, my favorite red wine because a lot of people have um, issues with red wine as far as having headaches or whatever or not finding a sweet red wine that tastes good. So I'm going to let you guys um, in on exactly um, the red wine that I drink and I've been drinking it for years now. So this is the perfect red wine okay so the first thing i'm gonna get into is the um fairly cheap cheap wines so i got about four of those different tastes and they're all moscato so this is the brand the bay bridge vineyard brand so this is the moscato the regular moscato and then we have the mango moscato the same brand and then we have a third brand i mean the same brand but the third is a strawberry moscato i'm hoping let this focus i'm hoping this tastes good because it looks good so and the last one we have of this brand is the peach so Let's get into the fairly expensive um, wine, which I already opened it. Um, I'm gonna make sure it's focused. Yes, it is a Chardonnay and it's 2012. And this one, I forgot to tell y'all how much alcohol that was in there. So this one has, um, how much alcohol is in here? It's 13.5%. So this one will get you lit. This Chardonnay will get you lit. <laughs> Hence that I already opened it. And I use this on a um, romantic date night that I surprised my wife with. Back when we were, um, make sure y'all can see that. Back when we were just dating as girlfriends. So, yes, I have this. Um, I already opened it, but I can't remember what it tastes like because that was a while ago. And I also have the Sweet Walter Red. And this is my favorite. Oops. This is my favorite red wine. Sweet Walter Red. And I just found out that they have a white. So... I don't know if it's sweet though, because I don't like dry wine. I just don't. So the first one I'm going to taste, I already have it poured, is the Moscato. This one, the regular Moscato. We're going to taste it and see. And again, this is really cheap. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and see y'all exactly how much I paid for these bottles. These bottles were $2.99. $2.99 at Kroger. For you guys that don't have a Kroger, everybody should, but I don't really know. But for those of you that don't have a Kroger, we definitely um seen those at Walmart as well. So I know y'all got a Walmart. So let's go ahead. I pour my first glass. And this is 10% alcohol. So, yeah, I like it. I like the taste. I mean, a Moscato is, I haven't, I don't think I've had a Moscato that I didn't like. So, yeah, I really do like this one. For it to have a, um, a 
a nice amount. 10%. That's a nice amount of alcohol. It's a, um, just a little flat. Yeah. But I like it. That's, that's nice. So, the next one I'm going to try is the Mango Moscato. Same brand, Bay Bridge. And I am going to go go ahead and open this. Y'all don't judge me by the way I open up these bottles. Still working on how to open it. <laughs> so, this is the second bottle. And I have several wine glasses. So, we're going to pull this one up. Not too much. I smell. It smells good. I can smell the mango. I like it. It tastes good. Like. I really love it, and you can really taste the mango in it. So, if you're looking for a real sweet um, wine, these two ninety nine bottles are it. And again, they are ten percent alcohol. So, you know, usually, not usually, but a lot of the time, you get like a seven percent. But that's ten percent. And it's two ninety nine. Y'all can't, you can't beat that. So, all right, y'all. So, the third bottle is going to be the strawberry Moscato. So, let's see what that's giving. The strawberry is not as strong. Um, it kind of just tastes like a Moscato. Um, because I think because the Moscato is already sweet, I think the strawberry is not as strong like the mango is. Because, I don't know, the Moscato, the regular Moscato is already giving sweet strawberry type feels. So, I don't really see the difference in um, the regular Moscato and the strawberry. These kind of giving the same teas to me. So, yeah. Um, but it's still good, of course. So, I'm going to set that to the side because we're not... Putting the corkscrew back on there on camera. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little stressful. A little stressful for me. So, the next one is going to be the peach. So, let me go ahead and open the peach. Yeah, I want a I want an electrical um wine opener. I seen some on Amazon that I probably end up purchasing because this manual one, which is is not outdated or anything, because we have um, a couple of them older than this model. But I just want electrical. It's just makes it so much easier on your life especially you don't want to be hassling with a cork screw when you're trying to have wine because you're trying to have wine for a reason so yeah so let's try this peach moscato and see what it's giving first i'm gonna smell it 
to see. I don't really like the smell of it. It's not giving me fresh peach. It's really not. Okay, so let's try it. It's not giving me fresh peach when I drink it either. Um, yeah, it tastes good. Don't get me wrong. The three so far tastes really, no, the four so far, I had four. Mm. <laughs> the four so far that I've tasted, the same brand, the Bay Bridge Vineyard brand, all taste good. They're really sweet. If you're looking for a sweet wine and you don't want to spend a lot because you're not sure if you're going to like it, try the Bay Bridge Vineyard, which was only $2.99 a bottle. So, yeah. And that way you can see if you like it. And if you don't, you spend uh, $3 for each bottle. You know, no love lost or whatever. Right? So... That's still giving Moscato, but I don't really get the hint of the peach flavor. So, the strawberry and the peach was not really giving strawberry and peach. It was just giving regular Moscato. And um, the mango Moscato was giving mango. And then the regular Moscato, it was good, of course. It was giving what it was supposed to give. So, my next one is going to be, um, I only got five wine glasses, so don't judge me. I'm cleaning off one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, the next one is going to be the Chardonnay. And, like I said, it's already opened. So... It's called William Nucktail. It's a Russian River Valley Chardonnay, 2012. Okay, and I'm going to put the link down below on each of these Moscatos. Um, and I'll probably do the link for Kroger $2.99 if it's available. If not, then I'll more than likely do a um, Amazon link which I know they have, but I'm not going to say it'd be the same price. So, yeah. Definitely try the $2.99. Alright, so when I look this one up, because I've been having this for a while. Um, this was like $26, $27. So, yeah. Not too inexpensive, but... I've never paid no more than $15 for a glass of wine, and that's just me. Um, I'm not a wine connoisseur. I just like the way it tastes. I like a buzz. I like to chill, so I drink my wine. But I'm not a connoisseur that's going to spend hundreds of dollars on wine. So let's try this Chardonnay. Um, honestly, hold on, y'all. Let me clean this out. Honestly, um, I don't remember how this Chardonnay tastes, so it's been a couple of years. And it's definitely a dark Chardonnay. So, yeah, that's what it's giving. Oof. It smells really, really dry. It doesn't smell sweet. So, this is a dry wine. Do they have sweet Chardonnays? I don't know. But the Chardonnays that I've came across, they're dry. So, let's see. I don't like dry. Yeah. Really, really dry. So, I have one dry wine. Um, I have 
several, several wines um, in my wine and liquor cabinet. I have the cabinet full of wine and liquor and whatever else grown folks drink, right? So I have a lot of wine and um, some of it is my fiance wine when she was in a wine club. So they would just send her wines and she was trying to find a red wine or um, a Chardonnay or um, um, a, what you call it? Progrigio or something like that. She was trying to find different wines that she could possibly like. And um, this was in her collection. And um, the bottle is almost gone, honestly. I don't know if y'all can see where is it. It's like right here. So, I know she don't like uh, dry wine. So, I'm not sure what I was thinking that day because I know I drunk this. But today, I don't like it. Today is just way too dry. It doesn't give, you know, semi-sweet. Because I can have a dry wine if it's like a little sweet, semi-sweet. But this is not giving that at all. Like, let me try it again. And the smell gives you sweet. The smell gives sweet. It definitely gives sweet. But... It does not, it's not sweet. It's really, really dry. And um, I'm putting the cork back on this junk. <laughs> Cause baby, she can't, she cannot do a dry. That's just not it. <laughs> so we're going to move on. All right, so this is my last bottle which is my favorite red wine. Again, it's called Sweet Walter Red. And they also have a white wine, um, the same brand, but I have not had it, so I can't really tell you if it's good or not. But I can tell you for sure, if you're looking for a sweet red wine, really inexpensive, which was $8.99. I didn't tell you guys how much the... Yes, I did. I told you the Chardonnay was about $26, $27. So, this is, this, I paid $8.99 for this bottle. And, um, I just love it. It's really inexpensive. Um, like I said, the most I paid for a bottle of wine would be like $15, $16, dollars 17 But, this is so smooth. Um, uh, it's so smooth, so sweet, so rich. Um, the flavors are just, the flavor is just like a rich grape flavor. Um, it's just smooth. I, I really love this. So let's get into this. I'm going to pour me a full glass and, um, in my favorite wine glass. I got this wine glass from, um, where did I get this from? Y'all, I forgot. I have several wine glasses, small ones. Um, and I don't remember where they came from. But um, I had two of these. I broke one. I had a set. And I forget what I where I got it from. Oh, yeah, I got this from Ikea. Like, I got a set from Ikea. Um, I can't remember how much they were, but of course they was inexpensive because I'm just not going to spend a lot of money on certain things. So, I know I didn't spend a lot of money on this. Maybe like $9.99 or something like that. And I got two. So, I spent about $20 on the set. Um, it's really big. The shape is really cute. And so this is my favorite wine glass and I only have one. So let me go ahead and open my last wine, which is a red. Um, but yeah, I am satisfied with all the wines that I purchased today. Um, I'm not really feeling the one that I didn't purchase, but it got out of my wine uh, cabinet. So, that's not going to hurt me too much. 
um, I'm not really disappointed like that only because I didn't have to purchase it. It was already in my collection. So, yeah. Um, let me, hold on y'all, my bad. Girl, hold on y'all. Girl, this is a, um, <laughs> I thought this was a corkscrew, y'all. This is a, um, y'all can see I haven't had this wine in a minute because I'm putting it in here as, as, as if it's a corkscrew and it's a twist on. I'm not used to twist on, um, wines, but obviously... It's been a minute because, and now I got a hole in the top of my twist on. <laughs> terrible, 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 terrible. I probably, I'm probably going to edit this part out. I might keep it. I don't know. <laughs> but, girl, a whole hole. A whole hole. Let's see. Look at that hole. <laughs> uh, don't say nobody, y'all. Don't say nobody that I did that. So, let's go ahead and get us some red wine. So, this is how much I'm drinking. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I want to say something. And I don't want to be doing so much. But what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to um, probably get a hammer and kind of close it up. Like, hit it to close the hole up. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Anyways. Okay. So, again, this is the red wine that I absolutely love. I'm going to have the link down below so y'all can try my favorite red wine and see if you like it. And it, it doesn't make my hair hurt. Uh, now, I don't know if it's going to make your hair hurt, but it definitely doesn't make my hair hurt. I've been drinking it for years. And also, I'm going to have the links for all the other one, the other uh, wines, including the Chardonnay that I didn't really care for because it was dry. But if you do like a dry wine, that is perfect for you. It's really inexpensive, but it's more than I would purchase, excuse me, would purchase for wines. So, you know, everybody has their preference of what they're willing to pay for. So, again, the Bay Bridge brand with all the different flavors are a go like thumbs up perfect and the uh sweet walter red wine is a go purchase only $8.99 the bay bridge only $2.99 and then that chardonnay um, is about $27 so, again, all the links will be down below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoyed my video. I will be doing different reviews. Um, This was not sponsored. This was something I went out and purchased myself because I do enjoy a Moscato. I do enjoy red, sweet red wine. And I just wanted to try out something new with the Chardonnay. So I will be doing more of these reviews. And if you want to work with me and if you want to sponsor one of my videos, my, my information is definitely below. And I will see you guys on my next video, which probably will be a haul. Not sure yet. And also, I have some exciting coming up. I'm going to start doing vlogs as well. So right now I work from home, so I don't really be going out doing much of anything and um, trying to um, save money or whatever. 
so I'm not really spending anything. Um, I'm about to start working outside my home in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to be vlogging because I'll be getting out more and having things to vlog about. My family and so on and so forth. And then it's going to be my favorite time of the year, which is fall. So that's when I like to go out and just be out on the town, date nights, family fun time, like Sunday fun day. And just show you uh, you guys what my little family does. So, again, thank you for watching all the way through. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not a subscriber yet, definitely hit that subscribe button. I will be coming back for more videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Later.